Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So... Please do not stand in the fountains. I think we're gonna go to Lucky 38. What do you need? Hi. Well, howdy, partner. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought some friends. No worries. Okay, let's go. Oh, I, I always forget. Is it the penthouse or the... Pre I think it's the penthouse? That is... Yes, okay. Mr. House is just pleased as... Right, I'm just gonna go talk to Mr. House. Hi. So... Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. Correct. We do need to discuss payment. Our terms were clear. Now that you have the chip in your possession, any attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. All right, all right. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so... Capacious, so very dear. Right, right. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Ah. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. Oh! It was to have been hand delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. Right. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Makes sense, makes sense. What does the chip do exactly? Yes, so far as you've seen, all it does is change the picture on the Securitron's face screens from policemen to soldiers. But as you'll see, some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. I see. Oh, we're just going straight there. All right. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. Okay. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. Right. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its right. Its 25 Gatling laser produced to spec by Glassing House Inc is deadly against soft targets at medium range. Fair. And for close range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. Okay, cool, cool. All of this you probably already knew. Right. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. Oh! All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. I feel like that was a Today, flaw with the delivery of the platinum chip, and somewhat Behold, not thought out. The first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. Right. And a rapid-fire G28 Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. True. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Right. Also, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness. Very impressive. Rate. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Right. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Okay. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? Fair enough. I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Okay. What happens next? The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. 
Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Right. I'd like to ask some questions. I'm surprised you haven't asked what became of Benny. That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the platinum chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Fair enough. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? Um... Did you know I killed some white gloves who were eating their customers? Cannibalism was strictly forbidden in their contract. If some of them broke that stricture, they deserved whatever punishment you dealt them. What else did you want to discuss? Um... What are your plans for New Vegas? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Okay, Not fair just enough. Against fair Caesar's enough. Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. I see. How do you intend to enforce your claim on the city? To enforce, one must have force, a position of strength. Right. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew True. it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam. And I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Ah, okay, fair enough. Wasn't the NCR, N NCR's army big enough to defeat your Securitrons and the three families? Indeed, it was, and still is, but not without taking significant casualties. Fair. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable. Ah, uh, okay, offensive. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. Right. What were the terms of your treaty with the NCR? NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Okay, okay. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. Okay, okay. Would you go to war against the NCR? The salient issue is that they will go to war with me, if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. Right. What else? Um... So, I think if we're gonna make a play, I think now's our play, right? The next step is to add the boomer's considerable firepower to my growing arsenal, ah. or at the very least, Sure, their neutrality. Um, the boomers have already vowed to help me out. Well done. The boomers' firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Your next assignment would have been to investigate the Omertus, but you managed to foil their scheme before I could put you to the task. Yes. <laughs> I should compensate you as though it were an official assignment. However, wouldn't want to disincentivize your proactivity. Right. 
What's next in line? Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors. One of them is in the Given presidential the suite. Views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please. Um. I'd like to ask some A few questions. questions. Okay. Any possibility? Uh, I don't want to kill off the entire Brotherhood. Don't tell me you've fallen for the stories of noble paladins on crusade, preserving mankind's technology in a benighted age. Dross. In any case, this is an employer in... Where do you want me to start? Since 2278, I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incident, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. Right. It's obvious. Is there a possibility for a diplomatic solution? We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. Fair, fair. Good. So... Have you destroyed the... When the Legion assaults the dam, the Brotherhood will attack the NCR and weaken them. Not surprising. I didn't ask you to tell me what they were planning. I asked you to kill them. Okay. This was a waste of time. Go back to the bunker and destroy it. My directions have been... Okay. I'm trying to be... Nice. So... Hey, you know, what's this, uh, what's this computer here? smart of you to not update the guys in your own office. Security override, please. Level up, you say? Alright. Well, let's get energy to 70. Sneak to 75. Survival to 60. Unarmed to 45. Get medicine to forty uh, to ninety-five. Repair to ninety-four. And then let's see. I wanna say there's something we might have just unlocked by getting energy weapons up higher. Concentrated fire. Sounds like a good idea. Energy weapon 60, gun 60. Um, any body part... Uh, your accuracy to hit any body part in VATS increases slightly when with each subsequent hit in on that body part. Which is pretty good. Um, Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll do concentrated fire. Yes, please. Let's go to the control room, shall we? 
And now there is a challenge that requires us to have a specific weapon. Knock, knock, Mr. House. Oh, you're, you're very, very old. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. Right. Uh, it's just if business. Personal gain. What you sought should have done as asked. Nah. Time for you to die, Mr. House. May there be a hell for you, a Tartarus, bleak, unending. <laughs> You're dead. Really? Don't have anything on you? The house has gone bust! Also, <laughs> so, um, upon killing him, a message goes out. Robert Edwin House, 261, president, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip, industrialist and technologist, uh, Technologist, founder, president, and CEO of the multi-billion dollar pre-war robotics and software corporation Robco Industries has died. Generally recognized by Mr. House to be mankind's only hope for long-term survival, Mr. House's passing may well sound a death knell for the entire human race. Uh, is it death knell or knoll? I think, I think, I think that is knell. I think knoll is... Separate, but similar. Maybe it's like a past versus present type dealy. I don't know. Um, Lost forever is his bounty of knowledge concerning human longevity. Uh, the depth and breadth of which could, as he was apt to say, fill several textbooks. He was not exaggerating. Though he did not achieve his goal of functional immortality, let us not forget that he died at the age of 261. How many people do that? I mean, come on. Also lost forever are House's singular personality, force of will, uh, vision, and leadership ability. The probability of an equally capable figure emerging from the current human population to lead mankind to a future of equivalent quality is less than 0.00011122%. 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, By objective measures, too complex to detail in this obituary. Personality and force of will. Born June 25th, 2020. You are four years old at the time of recording this. <laughs> Golly. Uh, House was orphaned at, the, at an early age when his parents died in a freak accident. Auto gyro lightning. Uh, though cheated of his inheritance, House attended the prestigious Institute of Massachusetts and founded Robco Industries on his 22nd birthday. Within five years, it was one of the most profitable corporations on Earth. Vision. By 2065, House was certain that an atomic war would soon devastate the planet. At great personal expense, he developed technologies to ensure the structural integrity of the city of Las Vegas, as it was known at the time. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted the city. Mr. House defeated them all. Talk about vision. Leadership. Mr. House survived the war, of course, and would later recruit the three families, negotiate the Treaty of New Vegas, and rebuild the Vegas Strip. While these achievements yielded many immediate benefits, they were all part of House's master plan to reignite mankind's quest for technological advancement 
a plan without the, which the human race has nowhere to go and nowhere to turn. We'll revise and finish the, this up later. Have set the age at death to update automatically. A bit uh, makes salient points, but pearls before swine, of course. Let's hope the ingrates never ha have cause to read it. Who knows how many of them are even literate? Oops! Probably should have hid that comment. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Alrighty. To the penthouse. All right. Howdy, daddy. Have a nice day. Thank you. Ooh, this is a lovely space. I've never been over here before. I'm gonna take all that. All right. Well, think it's time to move on. Oh, wait, is this, what? Oh, pff, duh, I need to, I saw that as cancel? Not <laughs> casino. Hey there, buddy old pal of mine. I've got your back. Let's go talk to, uh, yes man. Wherever he is. Is he I think he might be in the uh He might be over here. Yeah, he's right out here. Okay, cool, cool. Yes, man. Guess what I've done? Oh! Hi again! Can I help you with something else? Mr. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll let him assume. I'm ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Yeah! Yippee! Bots have enough firepower to arm a full platoon. Yippee! Whoa! This guy is from the, uh... Is, is this guy from Caesar's Legion? No consequences. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I actually want to go to the presidential suite. Because, yes. Hey, Edie, would you follow me? All right. Up to the penthouse. Hey, bud. How's it going? Hi. This is big, huh? Yeah. Very big moment. Absolutely. Goes, I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Alrighty. Good luck, buddy. Checking in. No, oh, my. You, you good? Mr. House had quite a setup here. Right. I can access his data banks and view telemetry on every secure on the network. Very cool. Every Securetron on the network has been upgraded. Pretty neat, huh? Right. The Securetrons at the port are on standby. I see a status log here confirming that the Mark II OS upgrade installed correctly. Cool. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. We'll worry about that later. Got it. Come back. 
Okay. You did a super job. Here's some big news. Okay. I decoded a military radio transmission. Ooh. And it turns out the NCR president, Aaron Kimball, is going to visit the cool. dam. I guess he wants to boost the trip's morale. But according to projections Mr. House made, he has an 83.75% chance of being assassinated. Oh! Oh, so boy! Anyway, it looks like Mr. House thought it was important to keep President Kimball alive. Right, right. I'm on good terms with the NCR. They'll let me help protect him. Great. A ranger named Graham has been placed in charge of security for the president's visit. You'll want to talk to him. Okay. Once the president is safe, there's one more thing for you to take care of. This gadget I'm handing you is called an override module. Okay, Mr. okay. Mr. two of these made years and years ago. Just like him to think ahead. Right, Test right. the module to the El Dorado substation and attach it to the power control terminal. I'll handle the rest. Cool. What will the override module let you do? I'll use the substation to send a huge jolt of electricity to the Lucky 38. Turns out this casino has its own reactor. Oh. All it needs is a jump start. Fascinating. With the reactor running at full tilt, I can boost the transmission strength of the Lucky 38's command and control network. Cool, cool. I'm talking direct tactical control of hundreds of upgraded Securitrons at vast distances. You know that's going to come in handy. True, true. Okay, I'll get it done. Great. When this is taken care of, we'll be all set for the Legion to make its move. All right, this all right. The task has been resolved. Do not be afraid to patronize the task. An entire... All right. Cool. Enjoy your time. Well, nifty. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. Okay. I picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Okay. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. I'm sorry, Hi. what? Sorry to break in. He sounded truly riveting. I don't want to keep you much longer, but I'd like to make a counter suggestion. Okay. I'm with the followers of the apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those brotherhood people. Right. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. R right. Why did the... Why did the dialogue of the Brotherhood of Steel person suddenly change to an entirely different accent? Is there like another, maybe there's a, like a third team that's supposed to potentially be able to ask for it, but we're not on good terms with them or something. I'm actually curious. I'm, I'm actually, I'm also going to look it up because, um, I don't know the benefits of each of these. Okay. That is a tough decision. Um, so there is, um, basically this is to upgrade Edie. Where did, Edie? Where did, where did Edie go? Did they just not follow me? Okay, Edie is just... Follow me, please. Your move, free. Also, where is... Where is Boone? Where did Boone go? Oh, here you are. 
I've got your back. Oh, probably because I, I can't bring anyone to the pet house, probably, even though house is dead. So, when we went to go get Edie, um, Boone got stuck. Okay. Well. So, bringing Edie to... Um... To the Hidden Valley, to, to, um, Knight Lorenzo up, upgrades his armor. If I bring him to the Followers of the Apocalypse, his weapon gets upgraded. And I, I'm not sure which one I would prefer. Okay, I think we're gonna... We're gonna get the the words. Okay, I think we're just gonna get the armor upgrade. I can still hear the crowds. Oh gosh, I have. Oh gosh, we're. Where is the proper entrance? I don't remember. Hello? Oh gosh. It's been so long I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I should probably just follow the arrow, huh? go All right, Lorenzo, where the frick are you? Have you seen Lorenzo? No, you're a scribe. Okay, end, end of the second floor. Nope, that's the wrong hallway. Right, right here, yes. Lorenzo! Evening. You're the one with that robot. Yes! I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. Correct. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. I've heard some information from its logs. Sounds like it's carrying some Enclave data. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? The log spoke about Enclave Duraframe research and Poseidon Energy research. Did, did you say Poseidon Energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. Okay, you can have Edie for a bit. All right. Okay, so unfortunately, we do not have access to Edie for a while, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm kind of wondering, I'm kind of wondering if we maybe go do, um... Maybe we do one of the other DLCs? I'm not sure. 
Because, because, from what I remember, I think it's this mission with Yes Man and defending the president um, and upgrading the substation. And then I think it's right into the final mission. Um, and at that point, yeah. Um, well, at the very least, we have a, we're, we're at about time, so I'm gonna call it there. Next time, uh, we'll decide on what we're doing, so either, either we will be doing the wild card stuff, or we might be starting another one of the DLCs. Um, we do have some of these random quests to do, like finding these books and stuff. But for now, that's going to be it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below. And maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So... See ya!